Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 5 Computer Networks dealing with network types LAN, WAN, and switching networks. Come, let's go into the video. So, generally, there are four types of computer networks LAN, LAN is local area network, MAN is metropolitan area network. WAN is wide area network, PAN personal area network. So in this video we will be learning about LAN, WAN and switching techniques. LAN local area network. So it is also called as private network. It is owned private. It is formed by connecting two or more networks in a very small area. Why LAN is being used even now? Because it provides you high security. So the transmission of data from every node is much faster. So each of the host, that is each node will act as a host. So each host will have its own unique address or unique ID. These are the two types of LAN. One is Client server LAN and second is peer to peer LAN. Client server LAN. So, here it consists of several devices connected to the central hub. See, with a server with n number of clients. This server or one available in the network platform and these clients connect to them through either wired cables or the communication happens through wireless connections. In peer-to-peer -peer LAN, what happens is, it does not have any server, particular server. It handles or it cannot handle heavy network. Most of the home networks are said to be peer networks. That is, the home network will be the hub and there can be n number of peers connecting to that hub. So, there is no central hub for peer-to-peer -peer LANs. Next is wide area network. See, in wide area networks, there you can tell that several LANs connected to a WAN form a WAN. Or you can otherwise tell as it is an interconnection of devices where the communication takes place not in a single place but in a large geographical area. Here, through this WAN, the network communication takes place throughout the world. WAN is commonly used in business place, organizations, some big organizations, even government sectors, public sectors, educational institutions opt for WAN network. The communication links are provided through satellites or any other cable system. So this WAN is divided into two types, point-to-point -point WAN and switched WANs. In point-to-point -point WAN, there are two communication devices which are connected through some transmission medium through WAN. Here in switched WANs, it is said to have more than two ends. So, several point-to-point -point WAN connected together forms this switched WANs. Got it? And I hope you have understood. So, next is switching network. This switching network is divided into two. Circuit switched network and packet switched network. Now, what is switching network? Simply, internet is called as a switching network. That is, here, switches acts as a hub to connect different devices. Where you have a central hub connecting different uh, LANs to it. Same way, in switching network, the hub acts as a several switch connecting several devices together. So, these are the two types of switching network. So, in circuit switch network, what happens is, two end of the system is connected through a circuit. That is, the name itself is representing, it is connected through a circuit. 
the see this circuit this this is one switch this is one switch this is one switch so there are totally four switches so these set of switches forms a node which is further divided into different nodes or different channels so best example i can give you for circuit switch network is telephone network you will have a telephone hub telephone network hub at one end where n number of houses will be using that as a, that as a hub and these people will start communicating to the hub through which the communication will be delivered to the other end of the channel next is packet switch network here as the name tells the messages are divided into small small packets it will be divided into small small pockets so this pockets what it is is it is independent such that it can either stores the data it can either store the data or it can transmit the data also if suppose the traffic in this area is more so this pocket will store the data until the traffic is cleared and it will the message that is broken down into pockets is sent slowly to the destination path hope you have understood about the network types so stay tuned for more info about the computer networks please do like share subscribe and comment thank you thank you for supporting us